Hello everyone, I'm the game here, and welcome back to more with Super Mario Galaxy. In the last episode, we went to Dusty Dune Galaxy and finished up uh, most stuff. And in this episode, it looks like we gotta head to uh, what appears to be Honey Hive to save our brother once again. Hey, where is that place? Honey Hive, I just said. Dude, don't, are you listening to me? Whatever. I'll meet you guys over at Honey Hive. Alright, let's do it. What? Do you have more mail? Wait, hold up. I've never seen this. I didn't know you can get like one letter after another. Just the same letter from Princess Peach. Uh, okay then. Guess that's a thing. Cutting the honey hive now. And here we are in the Honey Hive Kingdom, as you can tell by the bees and the bee mushroom, which we haven't seen in a while. It feels like it's been forever since we've seen a bee mushroom. Anyway, here we'll see where Luigi was from the picture. I'm gonna double check that I'm actually heading to the right spot. Yep. So we just have to get there. Let me see. I just gotta figure out where. Is that gonna be some stuff to get? Is that the first person? Hey, G, where are you? There he is. Let's go get him. Let's go save our useless brother. I love you, Luigi, but you don't. Listen, I already went through this stuff, dude. We've been through this once. I'm just here to save my brother. Make it up, make it up. No, no, no! Oh, that was dumb. <laughs> I didn't mean to jump on that bee, but he deserved it after that. What a dumb way to die. It's, it's, there might be too many dumb deaths this episode. It's early. It's like 5 a.m. Because he only wanted to record something before. Uh, before, like, we have to. You know, why can't I think of words? Before the next video is supposed to be up, so we actually have something to put onto YouTube. God damn it. Don't make me go get another- Ah! Why is this going so poorly? Why can't I get up there? There we go. Oh, that was so dumb for no good reason. I swear, if I die now, which might honestly happen, I'm gonna be upset. It's so weird, like, going from a game where you have free camera controls to a game with like less helpful camera controls. It's okay Luigi, it's just me. Come down. Get down! I punched him in the face! That's what you get for not- That's what you get for trying to help! Hey, because that big scary bug- Because of that big scary bug. I found the power stars, so let's go home. I feel like there's some stuff Luigi just shouldn't be afraid of anymore. Like, he's dealt with so much that there's just some things he should be like, Yeah, this is nothing now. But no, he's so scared of everything. Looks at his own shadow and screams. Well, anyway, I'll 
will shop battery meter. Oh, a new chat has been added to our storybook. How sweet. Anyways, I'll meet you guys back over at the at uh, the bedroom so we can finish up there. And here we are back at the bedroom, ready to take on more of the Dusty Dune galaxy. The Dusty Dune has a little bit different, seeing as there's two hidden stars here. And one of them is green. Let's say we go for uh, let's go for our sunbaked sandcastle first. I think this is the one I want to go to first. Yes. Fairly certain. Well, who knows, maybe I'm wrong. I have been known to do that before. I'm like, what my memory entails, this should be the one I actually want to do first. There's a lot of items in this, just the starting area. Especially for a level that's not that hard. Okay. Now for what is kind of the annoying part, remember how I get to the secret. You can see it off in the distance over there. That's what we're trying to get to. And I just have to remember how. It's been a while. It has, uh... It has been a hot minute. Get it? Hot to sand and desert and misery? I was over with that. Hold this. You're expecting good humor, you should know I'm very tired. Imagine if like a stand-up comedian came out and it was just like, if you're expecting good humor, you should know I'm tired. Just, just plain and simple like that. And everyone's just like, ah, oh, sure, I get it. Just like does he even try for the whole show? Just get mediocre stand-up because like, ah, oh, he's tired. He's half asleep. Makes sense. People actually are like kind of, kind of funny uh, when they have to say, "Ah, what the hell? Oh, that just wasn't fair." That was mean. Mommy, the Koopas are bullying me! There we go. I remember... I can never remember how to get to the secret on this in this level, and that's why it was bugging me. But I figured it out all on my own. Are you proud of me? Well, who asked you? Anyway, for this little secret, the battery meter is going to show up, and that's a secret. That's it. That's all there is. Nope, we have to actually play around with bullet bills. Specifically, uh... Get them to not kill us while this rises. No, no, stay on me. There is our star. No! Mmm, that sucks. Can I get one from the this me? Hang on. I want to see something. Is 
It knows me! Oh my god, that worked! Usually you have to do like this crappy back and forth forth with this level, but if I can just like kinda get one to notice me like this, I'm not gonna keep lowering it and raising it. I'm just gonna keep doing that. Ow! This is going as well as I want. It starts kind of in a weird place for like for like uh what's going on? Come on. Pop out. Do it. Show yourself. Don't be a coward. There we go. Nope. Ah, crap. Isn't this fun? We're having fun, right? This is this is fun. Come on. Just, just go back up. This is dumb. This is a dumb plan. I tried. I tried. I want it to be said. I tried. That's all it says. Just, just black out the screen, utter silence, and it just says, I tried. In Comic Sans. Don't you hit each other. Don't you hit each other. Don't touch each other. What the? I've never seen them dive bomb like that. Is that just a th I guess they were aiming for the star, but I've never seen that. If they're tired, they make this easier. So we can go to bed. Come on. Pop out. Pop out. Thank you. Follow me. Follow me and do exactly as you see. Don't you want to go for you just like me? That was the wrong one. I'm going to take advantage of this. to when I actually get it. You, you get the gist at this point. What is it doing? What the hell? Hey! What the hell? Okay. <laughs> Rude. It's official. I hate this level. That was so dumb. It's too hard! There we go! Oh Christ, thank God! That was so- Oh, it's up there! Please- Please tell me it comes down with it. Thank you. Praise be to Otua. That was terrible. <laughs> So all that's going in the episode. <laughs> uh, hooray for misery. Okay. It's gonna be the freaking uh, whatever comet is for Dusty Doom next. I'm calling it. And that's gonna be more misery. What? I wish. Oh, come on! I was kidding! What is it? The Sunbaked Sandcastle? We were just there. Do you want to put me in more misery? Oh, Sandblast. Okay, I guess I can live with that.
think the one thing I don't like about speedruns is there's not much I can say about a level I've already played. I'm trying to think of stuff I can say, but I honestly I didn't- Oh, there was like a little ring of rainbow in the sky there. That's neat. I'm trying to think of stuff I can say about this level I've already played. And there's not much. I don't know. I don't want to go silent because we just have because we've been doing so much cuts already. I actually want to like talk for a bit. But I don't have any interesting stories to share right now. And I don't have my my life isn't interesting enough to hold a commentary like this for long. No, 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 no. Damn it. I'm wasting time. I need to be going fast and I'm doing no, no, no. That. Okay. Is there a plenty of time? We are making halfway decent time. At least for the moment. I don't know which way I went last time. I think last time I went the green way. Let's go the other way this time. Ah, what the heck? There's a lot more Starbucks this way. Why didn't I go this way last time? I think it was also a shortcut. Yeah, it was. I should have gone the orange way last time and the green way this time. Oh well. I guess it would, I would have been wasting time with the secret if I had gone the other way. Are the tweesters gone? Wait, where are the tweesters? I'm disappointed. 0 out of 10, worst level. It all. <laughs> Kill the game. Let's play over. No twisters. Twisters. Crap. <laughs> yeah, they completely removed the twisters. So sucks. I, th I think the idea is uh, you can use them to like propel yourself into the air, so they want to remove them to make it like to make you move, move a little bit slower. Go up. I'm wasting so much time. No, not a backflip. Because I remember part of the reason I complete this so fast last time was because I was using the tweesters. There we go. That wasn't too bad. I mean, it was terrible because there were no tweesters, but it wasn't too bad. Now we can get the star and Dusty Dune I actually want to talk about. Because it's one that actually has, like, sentimental meaning to me. And that's not a joke. This one actually has sentimental meaning to me. And I'll explain it. Let's go get our last secret star, which is also a third green star in the Dusty Dune Galaxy. And I can actually explain why this one's kind of special to me. When I was a kid, uh... Super Mario Galaxy was the first game I got for Nintendo Wii. It was one of the first games I actually went so far as to complete. Um, it was a, it was kind of a big deal to me because, uh, like when I got this game as a gift, I honestly wanted to beat it. 
partially because most of the games I had before were uh, uh, a lot harder than like a standard Mario game. I remember one of the games I had as a kid was uh, The Incredibles video game, which uh, looking back on it, that game was hard! Also, that was some sick flips. But anyway, that's besides the point. So, wanting to be- ow. So, kinda just wanting to beat this game, uh, I eventually got to this level, and I decided to not just be able to beat it 100%. So, uh, eventually I got to Destiny Dune Galaxy. And, uh, for the life of me, with this secret star, I, uh, I couldn't find it. I don't know why I couldn't find it, but I just couldn't find it. It was escaping me. So, um, I ended up deciding to look up online. I went uh, where I could find it. So I looked up uh, on YouTube. And that's when I found a uh, Let's Player who's honestly inspired me to. What's with the camera here? Who, was, who inspired me to uh, start making videos. I found a Let's Player by the name of Chugger Conroy, who, uh, who, uh, I was a fan of then, I'm still a fan of today. I love his videos, and I've honestly, I've still been watching that since I was a little kid. But I watched his, uh, Let's Play of Super Mario Galaxy, and, uh, I just thought it was funny. I was, I enjoyed it. And, uh, through him I discovered the, uh, I discovered the Runaway Guys, which led me to Nintendo Free Sun, which led me to uh, Proton John. It led me to, and they led me to people like Lucajin, Josh Jepson, uh, Attacking Toucans, Tom Fox. It led me to this great community that I just really loved, and I loved watching, and I just really enjoyed it. And it really, so in all fairness, this level was what inspired me to become a Let's Player. I'm telling this story, uh, and it's a really sentimental story. Honestly, it's kind of also a really dumb story about how much of a stupid idiot I was. Because the reason I ended up looking up, the reason for me wanting to become a Let's Player, like my life's being, was because I didn't realize there was a hungry loomer on the other side of this planet. That's it. That's the whole reason I'm doing this. Luckily, I only need 20 star bits, because uh, there's not that many before he, before this. That's the whole reason I ended up becoming a Let's Player, was because I couldn't find this stupid Hungry Luma. I was that much of an idiot. Anyway, a new planet was born. Let us go there. To the double-sided pyramid planet. That's actually just really cool. Like the diamond-like pyramid. And it's a silver star mission, but wait, we're locked in this room. How are we supposed to find the rest of the silver stars? Simple! We make the plat we make the sand shift. What was Shifting Sands from? Shifting Sands was from a book I read as a kid. Like, I, w I was thinking of Shifting Sands. Why does it sound familiar? Is that another galaxy in Mario? No, it was something I read as a kid. I remember that being a good book, too. I remember that. I read it a lot. I read it, like, a long time in my TV. It was called Del Toro Quest. It was a really good book. That's not the point, though. We're not we're not talking about that. We're talking about silver stars. How they follow you, like little lost children. While you try to find their compatriots. Hang on. Oh, come on. There we go. Cheat the system. Uh... I have no idea where I'm going. There's one more.
Where is the last one? I feel like I made a mistake. I think I want to be over here. I'll find it. Where are you, new friend? Don't you want to be friends? Uh, hello? It's amazing how I had this long, like, really well, well thought story with, like, a lost antenna behind it. And now I'm just like, where are you, friend? Where are you? Oh, there you are. We did it. We drained the sand. And just as everyone knows, five silver means you get, get, uh, green. That's a conversion rate for money. I love just the way he fell there. It was like he, he was just running along the wall and then he fell. That was kind of funny. You've managed to recover all the green power stars and restore the green launch star. Even I don't know what's waiting for you out there, there beyond the green launch star. Well, we don't know what's beyond at that green launch star. So what say we find out in the next episode? Haha, -ha, you thought we were just gonna go there right away? No, I have to leave you hanging. Like a cliffhanger. Dangle off that cliff. Anyway, I thank you all for watching this episode of Super Mario Galaxy. If you liked this part, then leave a like, show what you did. And if you really liked it, subscribe for more like every Tuesday and Thursday. And if you didn't like it, there's a button for that too. You, you can leave a comment uh, t telling me why you didn't like it. Maybe it's because bullet bills are jerks who don't want to work with you and spin in circles around the objective that they need to hit. Anyway, I will see you all next time. Laters!